And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some abs and wolves. That's right, let's bring this deck back. This has always been um, a fun deck to play. We've played it just a couple of times uh, so far. We started with it in best of one and it looked good. So then we moved it over to best of three and it looked pretty good there too. And we're gonna try it some more. Now, I think this is the first time, yeah, I think this is the first time that we've played it since the Oko banning. So that should only uh, improve the deck as well. <clears throat> we're going to be trying this one over in Ranked. That's what the, the R stands for. So we're going to be trying this over in Mythic. Because um, I think pretty highly of this deck. So basically what we have is we have a deck, you know, with the top end being all of our wolf stuff. We have Nightpack Ambusher that has Flash, gives our other wolves plus one, plus one. And of course can make wolves as well. And then Wicked Wolf uh, that can, you know, fight, be indestructible, Tulsimer. <clears throat> where whenever any wolf enters, we gain three life, and then we can have that fight um, as well. And then Garrick, that can make some more wolves. Um, the garrick Tulsmer combo is, of course, incredible, because you gain three life for each of these two wolves that enter. And if you want, you can have them fight creatures your opponent uh, controls. Um, and then, of course, they all can get bigger with Nightpack Ambusher. So, you know, we got all this cool wolf stuff at the top end. Now... Um, a couple things. We need to get there faster because, you know, this is a bunch of like four plus mana cards. So we got four Gilded Goose, four Paradise Druid. The Goose makes food, which, of course, works really well with the Wicked Wolf. So that's our, our one way to really generate food is with uh, Gilded Goose. We need to pair it with some interaction, of course. So we got Murderous Riders and a Legion's End in here. So we got some, some uh, removal in there. Plus, we have a Knight of Autumn to be able to destroy artifacts and enchantments because there's a ton of those around. So we got a little bit of um interaction as well we're gonna need some card advantage so there's midnight reaper uh getting us card advantage whenever any of our creatures die and some card selection charming prince you know like we don't want everything to cost three plus mana so we have three charming princes in here because it can just kind of fill up the two mana slot give us a two mana creature that if we don't have goose or paradise druid we have another option and the scry two is really valuable like do we need to hit lands because our, our hand already has a lot of gas in it or maybe we already have a bunch of lands, so we need to find some gas. So Scry 2 is really valuable um, there. Um, but then, you know, it just has other options, too. It just gives us a, a lot of good options. Sometimes, uh, like, we're not going to be doing the flicker thing a ton, but, you know, sometimes it could really be awesome, especially if Tulsimer's out there. You know, we can flicker any of these wolves or, of course, flicker Tulsimer and uh, get some more fighting in there. Plus, we could flicker a Knight of Autumn if need be. Now, the last part of our deck, and another... and you know, really big part of the deck is Vivian Champion of the Wilds. Now, Vivian allows our creature spells to be cast as though they had flash, and that's vital because of Nightpack Ambusher. You know, Nightpack Ambusher says you don't want to play stuff during your turn, but basically everything in our deck are cards that we play during our turn. So having a Vivian that allows us to play all of our creatures at instant speed um, with Nightpack Ambusher is really critical. Plus, Vivian helps dig through the deck to find Ambusher, find Tulsimer, whatever we need, um, and everything. So this this deck's really built around Vivian, Champion of the Wilds, too. This is um, one of our most important cards. Um, hey, Hawkeye. Um, let's see, what else? So we got a fourth Vivian in the board for control matchups. Uh, get in, we got another one over there. Um you know, we got different interaction spells depending on what's what our opponent's playing. More Knight of Autumns, of course, if they're playing artifacts and enchantments. And then against control decks. Um, so against control decks that aren't really playing creatures, Wicked Wolf and Tulsimer with the fighting stuff for those two aren't that important. And so then we can uh, bring in Questing Beasts and Ceratops, and we still have um, other creatures that we can kind of replace those, uh, replace these ones with, uh, where we can have other impactful creatures. Okay, so that's our deck. Like I said, we're going to play over in ranked. We're probably going to play like four matches. Uh, traditional, standard, ranked. So we're going to play like four matches. because I want to. We want to play uh, five decks today. We started a couple hours early with it being Sunday, but I'm just going to continue on. Let's see where we're at. We're at number 22 now. Last time I played ranked, we were at like number like 13, but it's been a few days, so we've dropped. Um... Sphinx of Foresight. Okay. This Jeskai... Hmm. 
Oh, they have two of them? This Jeskai Fires deck is, is pretty popular. Or was it was it just one? I guess it was just one. I've been playing against this deck a lot recently. Alright, so Charming Prince could save like a Night Pack Ambusher from removal. All right, I'm going to start with Vivian Tick up, I think. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Hmm. I'll go take down. I don't really want it just to die to a, a Bone Crusher Giant, necessarily. Though. Ugh. It did. That was the problem with the tick down. I just fed you, Hawkeye. Where's it? Oh, in here. Stop. <laughs> I guess he didn't like his food. All right, so I wish I would have ticked up. Obviously, they have Fires of Invention. Hey, Sir Gajo, glad you liked the char yeah the Charming Prince Agent and Treachery deck. Yeah, that was that was really cool. So yeah, it looks like the, the difference between this is going to be how I, I didn't tick up Vivian because their hand was their hand was was really perfect after that. They did have the Bone Crusher Giant, and then they had the fires plus all this other stuff. So yeah, it looks looks like I, I really really need to tick up that Vivian. That's the decision that's going to cost me this. No, yeah, I did not, I did not, have, like, I had a block, yeah, like, they had lethal attacking me. Yep, Vivian decision cost me that. But great hand over there. Alright, so we're gonna bring in a couple of Disparks, some Knight of Autumns. 
Um, Devout Decree gets rid of Cavalier. See, obviously, Legion's End can go. Hmm. But obviously, Cavalier is already going to do a lot of damage first. I don't really mind Questing Beast. The trades with Kenrith and everything. Questing Beast seems pretty good. Do you say I don't have enchantment removal? I have, I have three Night of Autumn's two to Sparks. I trim a couple of wicked wolves for the, for the questing beast. I don't I don't think they necessarily will kill lots of stuff. Obviously, putting back one of the four drops, we want to, you know, just go Guild of Goose into Vivian. Um, Wicked Wolf is better with the Ambusher, but still, yeah. Hey, Blind Judge. Thank you so much for the sub. Saying, nice to be here. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much there, Blind Judge. And looks like I was one behind. Looks like that's our seventh sub of the day. As well. I've lost so much already. The mysteries of life are endless. Hmm. Got rid of two lands. That's not good. I was hoping to hit like Paradise Druid. Yeah, we need to hopefully draw lands here. At least n neither one was a white land. Okay, that's good. That's good. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what my Thanksgiving plans are. To fairies, a problem. I'll protect you. To fairies, a problem. All things begin and end in nature. Time for Plan B. It shuts down my flash game. Skyland. Not making my life easy here. Certainly not making my life easy. Just can we risk putting the scry land down to the bottom? Because obviously I need to be drawing lands. But this is not a, a good land to draw next turn. Yeah, I think we I think we risk it. <laughs> Oh, 
course they have turn four fires. Why not? I've got time. Well, we lost both of those games, but I, I honestly wouldn't mind playing that matchup again. Like, I don't... I feel pretty good about that matchup, but my opponent just had just amazing hands. And so they beat us. That's magic. So we'll move on. We'll mulligan again. All right, so this time we're going to be relying on our wolves to get some fighting down and everything. We'll see if we can be fast enough on the draw here. Another pretty good looking opener. We'll have, you know, the shock lands. Are kind of rough too. We're gonna take a lot of damage, but. A wicked wolf for this turn. And turn one goose because I had temple. Like, I could have shocked in for a turn one goose, but then I have a terrible turn two play if I do that. Obviously, if they have Ember Cleave, I'm dead. Cool. These are just ridiculously good hands that we're playing against. Knight, Stormfist Crusader, Oswar Knight, Ember Cleave, you're dead. I guess so. This is... <laughs> yeah, it's the three games in a row of our opponents having everything. Uh, this is not the best uh, Vivian matchup. It's a little slow. Same with Midnight Reaper. Let's try this. We'll um, we'll take out the Garrix for questing beast to lower our curve that way. Rough three games so far, but it's just one match, and we're down a game. But we can come, we can come back. I mean, I guess we could mulligan yet again. We just gotta draw lands. Like if, we, besides that, we got everything we want. So, okay. All 
Yeah, I don't I don't love keeping two land hands either. They played nothing on turn two and they could have. Makes sense. It's good seeing their hand though. Alright, so we get to block to make our wolf indestructible. Those who are knight will be a 3-3 now. And so they they have to keep attacking with this thing so they can keep on blocking with Wicked Wolf. Until the Oathsworn Knight dies over time. Yeah, no once upon a time. Can't play that card. Yeah, Questing Beast, awesome against a Sworn Knight. Now the damage can't be prevented. We'll just make this block. We'll just take four. Yay, they don't have Embercleave. That's like the card they really need was Embercleave. So my, my plan was to just make make a food with the goose to be able to sack to the wolf and have the wolf eat the Oathsworn Knight. Um, and then have Beast trade with Knight of the Ebon Legion. That was my plan, but now I'm kind of switching it up with having the Legion's End here. I don't really want to trade Beast with Knight of the Ebon Legion. So we'll just play this Murderous Rider to chump, chump the Knight of the Ebon Legion. But that also means that I'm just taking four from the this Osworn Knight again. But I think we can take four more damage. It's really just two damage because of my Murderous Rider. Yep, fix the mic. Everything's good. Got a new cord. Yes, yeah, so we just took two, went down to ten, but now we get to keep Questing Beast alive, and everything's good.
All right, so looking good. Yeah, Osaur Knight has to attack, of course. They can't just, like, you know, sit back and, and block. That card has to attack. So they have to just chump attack into the Wicked Wolf. So now do I take out the other two Vivians on the draw? Maybe I do. And that's a card that like helps me pull ahead after I stabilize. But we have to worry about stabilizing first. So we'll take out those for a Prince and a Knight. And hope those help us stabilize. I, uh, well, yes. So the question is, if I would have blocked Oathsworn with Rider there, would it still lose a counter with Questing Beast on the battlefield? Yes. It would have, um, the damage would not have been prevented. That's, that's the text that doesn't, so it would still take two damage, but it would still lose the counter. So yes, it would still turn into a 3-3, three, three, but it would take, it would take two damage. Hey, Justina. Let's see. So you're playing some Abzan Kethis? Hopefully Legion's End's good against our opponent. Hopefully they don't just have a bunch of... I like seeing that. I don't want to see a bunch of three drops again. Like, my opponent last, last game had a ton of three drops. That is not what I want to see. Yeah, I like I like that that Kethis deck. It looks pretty sweet. All right, not bad. Epic downfall. So much damage so early. And these shock lands are not helping me. Rude. Well, the night looking pretty good right now. Well, we'll shrink it down. It's a good card. Ambusher will get epic downfalled, but.
can I can eat a Black Lance Paragon first. Unf you know, I would have preferred just to block the Osworn Knight, you know. Wish they didn't have that Black Lance Paragon, but... Oh well. Yeah, they're thoroughly sworn. Yeah, they got a, a bunch of cussers over there with these knights. Looks like we're starting to stabilize. This murderous rider card is. Murderous Rider card is pretty good. I don't know why it was so difficult for me to say that. <laughs> um, let's cry too. Keep that one. Yeah, they only have one. Like, so I don't have to be too worried about Ember Cleave right now with them just having the one mountain. They don't have a good attack. So I don't think they do. I mean, I guess it depends on what they drew. I block there, they activate, but I can, like, you know, attack back and gain four now. But we'll see what they drew. I bet they have Bile Blight. That'd be a good one right here. Alright, well, I definitely know that card in hand is not... Definitely know it's not Ember Cleave because of how it auto-tapped for him. So we got this 3-3 to block the knight. And then I also can just, you know, make make a food, gain six life. Gilded Goose pretty good. So if that's if that's a blank card in hand, we got this. I can just attack out. I liked being able to double click these more. 
I miss the days of double clicking food. It's just a lot easier to double click than, than do that. Do, 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 do. Whoops, I didn't mean to attack with a goose. Yay. All right, moved back up there. <laughs> goose attack for the win. Get him, Goose. <laughs> uh, didn't mean to do that, but it worked. I think this is the person we just played two matches ago. It was on the, the Just Guy Fires, right? I think so. So if I play my other Paradise Druid... So this is a tough call. I could... Mm, actually, no. Okay, never mind. Not a tough call. I was going to say that I could play the other Paradise Druid. Yeah, I can make food for Wolf, but whatever. Um, and then try to try to slam... I guess I still could have done that. I could have... So I could have done that and then try to slam Garrick the next turn, but it's just such a bad play against Clarion. And so I went this route instead. And this route is looking to be a little better They just have turn four fires every game. Every game. Without fail. Had it every. I guess that's why they're number six. Whoa, nothing to play. Just all removal spells over there, I guess. Let's play a game. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. Mr. Colio. Kalu? Maybe it's Kalu. Oh well. Mr. K. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, it's just all the Clarions. Man, all the Clarions. All of them. Join the stampede, my companions. Scry? Ooh, my life total is a little low. Hmm. Let's see if we can get something better. Those look pretty good.
<laughs> Literally all the Clarions. Get Clary off me. All right, get our life total back up there. Yeah, so they just had all all fires and clarions. It is Colo. Okay, Mr. Colo. Well, thanks, Mr. Colo. I guess, I think I took out Midnight Reapers last time, but I think I should not take out the Midnight Reapers. They seem pretty important. Maybe I take out the Gilded Geese with all of their, with all their Clarions. Maybe I just take out like Gilded Geese and Wicked Wolf. That doesn't like necessarily kill lots of stuff. Twenty six creatures still. It's pretty good. Hey, what's up, Shabby? Shabby's getting that support also, bringing all those hype boats to the channel. Thanks, Shabby. Uh, if we had green mana, this hand would be awesome. I mean, I, I have turn two Charming Prince that gets to scry to. And so we can look for green mana. And plus we're on the draw, so we have we have like... Temple Silence, Temple of Silence, Scry, turn two, Scry two more. Let's give it a try. It's a lot of Scrys. Do they have four of those things? Oh no, it's just like a visual bug. They still got two of these things. If I were them, I would, I would first scry three to the top, and then I would scry three to the bottom. You gotta, you gotta switch it up, you know. That's what I do with double scry three. No, they just get to keep three awesome cards on top. This is tough. This card's very good. It fits my curve well. The problem is we may not have mana. If I keep this, you know, we may miss land drops. That's the problem keeping this. <laughs> yeah, they have my scry game beat, that's for sure. All right, no Clarion, that's good. Let's see if you're worth. You can still walk away. Bleh, no land. For the fallen. Really need that land. If 
I had a fifth mana, I could give like the Ceratops reach. Mm. Their hand's loaded this time. Let me show you what was lost. All right, we'll be back on the play. Hopefully we hit land drops. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have just an amazing hand again. It's, it's been three of the four games we've played against them. Gosh. No. Can't keep it. It's really frustrating. Keep scrying to the top. Each one of these scry lands. It's probably not good for me. Probably means they're going to have to turn four fires again. Well, hopefully that slows them down a whole lot. It 
It's not looking good, though, still. Yeah, we mulligan to five. It would have been nice to have, you know, if we would have had those cards that we, how we mulligan, we would have been able to, you know, have my Midnight Reaper could have traded with their Bone Crusher Giant, for example, there. I uh, wouldn't have to waste a Nightpack Ambusher. And yeah, I would have had Charming Prince into Midnight Reaper. Um, what do I do here? We'll find it, hopefully find another Night of Autumn or to Spark. Be able to get rid of this Fire Zone Invention. Or a Charming Prince to flicker my Night of Autumn. Yeah, well, not that one. That was just a, a frustrating mold of five. So yeah, Charming Prince being able to flicker the knight to kill this fires would have been a big difference. So I need to just play... Yeah, I think I just need to play these things. The, the Scry 1 on... The, the Scry 3 on turn 1 has looked really good in the Fires deck. Yeah. Yep. Yep, Blue Horse is Cavalier of Brainstorm. Yep. Played some gates yesterday. So yeah, definitely saw that. Definitely saw that coming and wanted to play the Midnight Reaper to be able to get these extra cards. And this is why Midnight Reaper is really good. You know, getting those extra two cards means we have our land drops, plus we found another Nightpack Ambusher. Got some really good stuff. So, obviously, I could have just played the Ambusher here and then on end step also. And then untapped. Um... 
and then killed the ram, we would have dealt seven damage. We would have dealt seven extra damage. You know, this would have been five, six, seven extra damage. So we would have been able to put them down to three, but that's not killing them. I want to. I want to be able to keep the instant speed threat for more sweepers. In case of more sweepers. Hey, Soul Farmer. This is a pretty important Vivian matchup, being able to instant speed around their their sweepers. Um, definitely want the Knight of Autumns for the Guild Summits. Noxious Grasp can kill the Ram or Krasis. Um, Tulsimer not as good. Can't really have small things to fight. Wicked Wolf can get can be indestructible though with the Red Sweepers. I think we just take out the. Uh, Hmm. Kind of want to cut just the gilded uses again. What if we just. Alright, so we need eight slots. Like, what if we just play these things? They can have haste. Cut these, cut these. Hmm. I guess I'm playing all these Tulsimers. That's fine. We can play some Tulsimers. Basically, Gilda Goose just isn't isn't too important in this matchup. I don't know. I mean, I like that we're hitting land drops. Those are not good cards. There you go. We'll, we'll keep these. Um, yeah, so I would like to... I would rather cut Tulsimer. So, I would... Wicked Wolf is better than Tulsimer. However, Wicked Wolf without... That's... That's Wicked Wolf with, um, Wicked Wolf with Gilded Goose is better than Tulsimer. But Wicked Wolf with no food whatsoever is not better than Tulsimer. So to be able to play Wicked Wolf, you got to play Gilded Goose. And I'm not sure if I want to just play that eight card combo. It's basically either play that eight card combo or play and then cut Tulsimers or play um, Questing Beast and Ceratops and Tulsimer. That is, and against a, a ton of cheap red sweepers, I feel like the Questing Beast, Ceratops, Tulsimer is better than Wicked Wolf and Gilded Goose. But those are those are like the options.
So that's 14 damage with Ceratops. a lot of cards. Yeah, yep, this looks like the four, yep, this looks like the, yeah, this is the four color gates deck that we played yesterday. Um, I haven't seen any differences with the deck. I've been kind of watching out for that, see if they have anything different with it, but. Yep, looks like the same kind of deck, and expecting my opponent to win this one. We'll see if we can get game three. They had, a, they had a good hand. You know, Gross Spiral turn two, Circuitous Route turn three, Interact, then Gross Spiral again, and then Explosion for five. Cool. They should have attacked first, but cool. Wanted to get them to... I wanted to get them to um, to use a, a Gates of Blaze that didn't kill my Ambusher. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully opponents, yeah, hopefully opponent is a fan and Yep, that would be cool. And hopefully they're doing really well with the deck. With every other match besides this one. This is gonna be tough. Could use drawn one of those noxious grasps. Or a murderous rider. Nope. 
If they have nothing, we actually have good blocks here, sending all the 4-4s into the 12-12, and then the, the double 5-5s five teaming up to block the 8-8, eight eight, if they have nothing. Obviously, they, all they need is any card. That's a card. They just needed any card to change that. All right, so game three. If we go to sideboarding. Anytime now. Yep. Okay. See, in order to play, like, Wicked Wolf survives the sweepers, which is good, but in order to play that, we, we got to play Gilded Goose. And so to play both of those... So maybe I just take out a couple charming prints. I mean, Dispark's only good for the eight-eight. They're probably just playing two eight-eights, so it's like it only it exiles two things in their entire deck. I don't I don't think we really need to play it. Um, could take out Garrick. Oh, that's 61? Whoops. 61 card special. We didn't see Vivian until late. You know, like I said, Vivian was is really crucial this matchup, being able to have instant speed stuff around the sweepers. Um, but we got triple ambusher talking about instant speed stuff. Hopefully we can still draw lands, though, with having the 61. Okay, good. All right, let's... let's get this Midnight Reaper into play. No, we, we just have... We have Noxious Grasp. They can kill the the creatures. I think that's good enough. I don't think we need... Yeah, Legion's End would take out Krasis, but we got Noxious Grass, Murderous Rider. <clears throat> Garrick. That's good enough. I think that's worth it, getting the ram out of here. They only have two gates right now as far as, like, a Gates of Blaze goes. And they don't have red mana. So, you know, if they have, like, Clarion or Gates of Blaze, it doesn't kill the Ambusher. But, you know, now they have red mana because now the plaza t turns into red. But still, uh, Ambusher stays alive. I certainly think it's worth getting the the ram out of here. Wow. They had growth spiral in hand. They must not have real. They didn't realize that they didn't have enough gates to kill my ambusher. Because yeah, they could have just growth spiraled, put that f that fourth gate into play, and killed my ambusher. They could have done that. Well, now it's pretty scary. 
hit some more land drops. Like with that gross pile, I've drawn a bunch more cards. Mm. Because of the gross pile. So that's that's the thing is like the, these backup ambushers were going to protect my ambushers from future gates ablaze, but the gross spiral. So without that gross spiral, they would have only been doing four damage there. And we would have been able to save it. Stop playing gross spirals. Oh, that card's so good. We'll probably st stop pretty soon, though. That's been three of them. We'll just make a, another wolf instead of shocking in for Reaper. I I do have to be worried about my life total because of Expansion Explosion. I mean, we're not quite there yet, but I'm just saying it's a thing. Think they got us. What's up, Omaha? Thanks for the tier one sub. Yeah, we, we were one mana short of lethal last turn. Because if, if we would have had the eight mana like we do now, we could have flashed in the other two, or we could have just played the other two ambushers and made ours a six six and dealt that extra two points of damage. Yeah, this, this game's over now. But Omaha with that sub, getting us to our sub goal. Our 10th sub of the day. I'll have to mark that down. My hand was good. Can't complain about my hand. My hand was good. Opponents was a little better, though. Too many sweepers and growth spirals. Oh, we get mastery stuff? Um. All right, we got the fervent champion. So one away from Ember Cleave, and then we'll start working and trying to get to this worthy knight, which is really the card that I want the most. On there. All right, we're gonna play one more match. Or oh, wait, oh, that's four matches. Cancel. Never mind. Well, looks like we're still playing one more match. Too late.
All right, I'm gonna put the shock land down to the bottom because I don't want to keep on taking damage with the lands, but I wouldn't mind drawing another land. Good, not questing beast. Just worried about the beast. Hmm. Need more land. My best play for this turn is probably Vivian. Uh, or just like getting Vivian in play would be really nice. I guess that's what I mean. If I get Ambusher in play, then Wicked Wolf can be a 4 4 to be able to fight a another Wrinkle. Another Wrinkle could be kind of rough. Guess we'll do that. Alright, so they definitely have Murderous Rider. I'm expecting them to kill this thing with Murderous Rider. That's my expectation. I'm also fine with that. They're willing to do that for their only turn. They must not really have that, that many like real threats left, like right now. Probably a good amount of interaction and stuff. And uh, against that kind of hand, I want to have the Midnight Reaper in play. All right, let's see what they got going on over here. Yep, Murderous Rider. Not too surprising there. Hey, I have to die. Now you are great. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the resub there. I really appreciate that. Um. I was really thinking about just going with the gain three life 
I mean, those are those are obviously the only two real options here. I'm sure, I'll keep those. So I have to play stuff that I don't mind getting... Uh you know, don't mind getting Murderous Ridered. Now getting this goose out before the wolf means that I can now play the wolf and it will be safe against a rider. Come on, computer, you can do it. Dang. That's a great one. All right, maybe we hit Night of Autumn. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. There is wonder in a blade of grass. Nope. So I can use the food with the goose to be able to play the ambusher. Or, of course, also just cast the reaper. Yeah. I'm... I'm not exactly sure, Guru. I'll definitely be announcing that later, but I'm, I don't I don't know right now, Guru. You ever lost a home? Yeah, normally this this would be sub battle Saturday upcoming, but it, it looks like I may actually uh, be traveling for Thanksgiving. I'm not exactly sure though. Great hench card is pretty good. I am Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next.
You're gonna tear you apart. Fortunately, Tulsmer does cost double green, so I don't I don't have enough green to be able to. Um. I tap too much. Whoops. Didn't have enough green to make a food also. <laughs> I'm just drawing fire. Beast into beast into Vivian into Rankle. I mean, that's what the Great Henge does. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to discard this Nightpack Ambusher, which is My really, How really rough. Home. Wish I didn't activate that castle now when I did, but it was the. I feel like it was the correct thing to activate that, but. But obviously, this the second ambusher because of Tolsmer is just amazing. So this is this really hurts us. Jeez. Just play those. That great hen just impossible to beat. I'm sure they just play like one. They draw it, it's just you lose. I don't want to just get too, you know, too spell heavy and just play a bunch of devout decrees, legions, ends, noxious grasps. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, basically, I mean, it's it's hard to fit in all all those spells and everything too. I think I'm supposed to be just like focused on fighting with these things. Take out the Charming Princes. 
Spirit attack needs like fine finality. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to be playing the Great Henge. That card is amazing. We're just playing Mulligan instead. Well, these were not good cards to see. A four drop, six drop. Yay, land. <laughs> yeah, my, my hands have not been as good as my opponents today. Um... It would definitely be better to Murderous Rider that and save to Spark for the Great Henge. But... I wish I would have just quit at four matches and didn't play this fifth one. This has been rough. So now we draw the swamp, so like I need to kill the the questing beast, but I also need to legions and these innkeepers, and I just can't do everything I need to do. I guess I'll use all my mana in Wicked Wolf and kill that thing. We definitely eyes. can't beat that. And then maybe maybe we draw another Black Listen Source and Rider and Legion Zen, but... Uh. Okay, well, not a great run for our Wolf deck. Ran into... Well, all, all four of our losses were all the exact same thing. They were all our opponents going bigger than us. That was every single one of our losses. Um, so it does mean that maybe we should have things like the Great Henge, Find Finality, bigger effects like that. The Charming Princes didn't look so good. We also we just we basically never got to have Vivian out. We didn't have very good hands. My my opponents never really stumbled to give us time to do anything either. Um Yes, yeah, so, I mean that's I don't really know else what else to say besides all that. We didn't have good enough answers for Fires of Invention and then a, a bunch of big creatures. I don't know. Yeah, we just didn't. Didn't hit. Yeah, like our mana was always tough. We weren't. We didn't do a very good job of like hitting land drops and curving out. Like that's that's what we, we just didn't curve out. 
That just never happened. Which you th you think like this deck could could do a pretty good job of curving out, but we didn't, and uh, my opponents did every game, and so we lost all of our games. I think the the one card that that wasn't that was you know kind of disappointing was the Charming Prince. The two two body didn't matter in those games that we were playing. All of our opponents were going over the top of it. That's that's why it was disappointing is because the two two body didn't matter. Um, but I don't know if like we're supposed to even have time for the Great Henge. We're supposed to try to play. We're trying to play stuff instant speed. Just never worked out. We never had you know like turn three Vivian untap with Vivian like that never happened. In five matches, just just never anything that that was happening. Dispark would have been great against most all the opponents, except for the, you know, the, the two Jeskai, you know, the Jeskai Fires opponent and that last opponent. Dispark seems like a really good card right now, just in in standard. Lots of fires around, and like the fires are all they're all doing the same thing with that Cavalier. <laughs> the Cavaliers and stuff. Well, well, all right. So that's, that's Abzan wolves. Um, we'll have to, you know, think about how we can continue to go over the top, but I don't know, maybe it just needs a, you know, like honestly, maybe just a, a refresh of, you know, run it back like the next day. It's could be one of those kind of things like where maybe my opponents don't have as good a stuff as they had all those games. And maybe we actually get to curve out and, you know, maybe it's like the other way, maybe it's, then it's four one. And then, uh, we think the deck's amazing. You know, it's it's small samples with all these leagues. It's small samples. Um, all right, anyway, that's Abzan Wolves. So if you're watching on YouTube, I uh, hope you hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And, of course, um, leave comments. Uh, feel free to do that if, if you have some ideas uh, there for the Wolves. Um, and then, of course, also I hope you check out the Patreon page. Uh, patreon.com slash Todd Stevens MTG if you like my videos and would um, uh, would like to help support my channel over there. It's just $3 a month. I just put the link over in the chat as well. But thank you so much for, for watching some Abs and Wolves, and I'll see you for the next video.